Okay, first of all, I'm not a teacher. Hi guys. Um, I guess I should introduce myself. My name is Raven, also known as Banks Ray on YouTube. I have been on YouTube for about a year now. Um, I am a self-taught guitarist and singer-songwriter. I recently released my first EP called the K-Thanks Ray EP, which was a little homage to my, my uh, subscribers on YouTube and everything that they've done for me. I wouldn't have recorded a CD if it weren't for all of the support that they'd given me and how much they really wanted it. I have to admit, when I was invited to join our mixtape, I... I said yes because I wanted to learn stuff too. I thought that being a part of the channel meant that I would be able to learn so much more from all of you know you amazing guys who have been doing the whole music thing a lot longer than I have. You all have. I think I am definitely um, the m biggest beginner within the group. Um, you all know, seem to know so much more than I do, and I'm already learning so much from all of you. But here's to hoping that I still have something to offer. Today, I'm not going to be talking about microphones, and I'm not going to be talking about the acoustics in certain rooms. I'm going to be talking about the one thing that I actually do know about, which is teaching yourself how to play guitar. Okay, so you have your guitar. This is what my acoustic guitar looks like. This is the guitar that I began to teach myself on. This is an acoustic electric. So it's an acoustic guitar that can be plugged in so that it can um, amplify sound. So I definitely recommend an acoustic electric guitar because that way you don't have to put a microphone in front of your guitar when you play live. You can put, you can just plug it in to an amp and it'll just be super loud like an electric guitar would. If you ever start playing shows and you're playing an acoustic guitar instead of an acoustic electric, it's going to be not quite as much fun. So okay, you have your guitar and you don't know what to do next, right? I will tell you how I learned to play the guitar. I learned by learning some of my favorite songs. There is a website out there called ultimateguitar.com and it is where I would say 99% of guitarists go to look up um, tabs and chords to some of their favorite songs. So you can pretty much go to the search on that website and look up, you know, your favorite band or whatever and learn, you know, whatever songs are available on there by that band on the guitar. And it's amazing. That's how I learned to play the guitar was by learning some of my favorite songs. For example, I learned how to play the B chord on the guitar by learning one of my favorite songs at the time, which was called Raise the Dead by Phantom Planet. So I looked it up on ultimateguitar.com and the tab was there, the chords were there. So I decided to memorize those chords and to play them over and over and over again until it sounded like the song. And it worked out. I mean, I can play it now if you want me to. I'll show you. All you have to do is find a song that you really want to learn how to play, look it up, if the chords are there, memorize them, and you'll know the chords forever. The number one thing that you have to remember when you're just starting to play guitar, and I wish someone had told me this because no one had, was that you have to be patient. Otherwise, you're going to have a hell of a time because you're learning something that does not come naturally to you. I would say 99.99% .99 of people have trouble with the patience part of guitar because you will sit there trying to play this, the same chord over and over and over again and having it sound like, you know, like just completely wrong and you're like, oh my god, why does it sound like crap, you know? And there's no way to get around that. Just understand that everybody does it and everybody goes through it, but eventually it gets better. The best part about teaching yourself how to play the guitar is that 
when you realize that you're doing something right, when you realize that you're playing the chord right, or you're playing the, you know, rift right, or whatever, the minute you realize that you're doing it correctly, and you did it all by yourself, it is the best feeling ever, at least for me. If you want to learn to play the guitar, don't be afraid of it, because it's really not that bad. It's going to be really, really hard at first, and your fingers are going to ache, and you're going to get calluses, and you're going to be crying on the inside and wishing that you'd never taken a guitar in the first place. But if you're really passionate about it, and it's something that you really, really want to do, and you just keep practicing, and keep practicing, and keep practicing, it'll pay off, I promise. So, that's how I taught myself how to play the guitar. Hopefully, this has been helpful, and hopefully I am not good for nothing on this channel. If I am, I'm sorry, but at least I'm a girl. That wraps up this week on our mixtape. I hope you guys have learned a lot so far, and I hope everybody has a great Saturday. Alan, I will see you on Sunday.